Uh, but let's talk about, of course, uh, the impact, the importance of attending HBCU. Joining us right now, Keisha Knight Pulliam, actress. Also, she's been in all kind of stuff. Y'all know, of course, from the Cosby Show. Uh, and uh, she's all she's a new mom as well. And so she's hanging out with us. Uh, she was, of course, uh, uh, busy this weekend. A lot to do this weekend. I have had a lot to do this weekend, but some work. I, I you know, went out to homecoming for a, a brief moment, but you know, couldn't really partake. I'm still breastfeeding, so okay. I just kind of had to have sober homecoming. Uh, it's very different. Sober home. Very okay. different. Okay. Sober <laughs> homecoming. Very different. We're gonna leave that one alone. Uh, also joining us, of course, uh, is Dan Ford, president of Atlanta HBCU Alliance. Also Gerard Murray, owner and founder of Tradition. And so uh, we got uh, a piece here. We're gonna play this first, and we'll come back and have a conversation. Rotate. So let's, let's talk about just this uh, the idea. Speak to the issue of the value of an HBCU. It's priceless. There is really no value because there's no monetary amount that you can put on the empowerment, the relationships, um, just the network that you gain. Going to Spelman College, you never ever have to think, um, you know, and does this person not like, it's never about being black or a woman. You may have differences with people and that's life and a lot of times people say you know it's unrealistic but it's very much a microcosm of the greater world because I don't know two black women who are exactly alike, do you? So you are going to deal with different backgrounds, different personalities, different interests and you know it's just really important and there is nowhere else I would have wanted to go. I have two brothers who are graduates of Morehouse. My middle brother's, you know, middle child are, di are a little different, so he went to Auburn, but we still love him, we still love him. And um, there's a lot of AUC love in our family. Well, you know, without question, it's the first time for many of us that for four years, you're in an environment where everything is ran, mm. controlled by black folks. Um, and that's a jolt to self-esteem. You're talking about educated, progressive, um, black folks who are looking to not only uplift themselves, but the community. And you leave out of that environment just empowered altogether. Yeah. And my experience is kind of unique. I did not attend an HBCU, but I grew up in a house. My wife attended North Carolina Central and my two kids, my daughter graduated from Howard University, my son attends Howard University. And I have to say the atmosphere is very absorbent. It, it's infectious. It, you almost become a part of it just by default, but at the, at the end result, it's black excellence. You know, you really fall in love with the atmosphere from just the, from graduations to classics to homecomings and just the, uh, you know, the platform that you have with networking, we said, is, it's just so many things that the HBC presents to a culture that, and you know, that, you don't get somewhere else. And those connections matter. Those Absolutely. connections matter. Absolutely. And, and I'll tell you that I, as a kid, um, grew up on this campus at CAU. My dad was on the Board of Trustees, and so for as far back as I can remember, coming on this campus, going to lectures, going to homecoming, and seeing young black people as role models as a child is just, I mean, you, you're right, it's priceless. Yeah. You can't put a price tag on that experience. And that was my experience. Yeah. I first was, um, you know, exposed to Spelman and the AUC on The Cosby Show. We filmed an episode here, and that's when I fell in love. I saw all of these um, amazing, beautiful, brilliant women who look like me. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting the brainwashing process early with my daughter, so yeah. I had to, <laughs> right. I, I'm going to make it seem like it's her idea, that and Delta Sigma Theta. I'm doing all of it. I'm like, it's all your idea. <laughs> but, um, so it's, it's Watch, just Watch, really she's going to go to CAU and play with AKA. But, and you're going to be upset. <laughs> 
No, no, no. You know, I wouldn't be mad at Clark. I took a lot of classes at CAU. The mass comm department is was like my second home. Mm. So as you know, I feel like the HBCU experience is very important, and I hope that it she is. chooses it for herself. But that's what I'm saying. I'm trying yeah. to, you know, help her out now, so All she'll right. think it's her idea. Hold tight one second. <laughs>